previously on Line Screw 1. On my last video entitled, Maybe Not, I did give a wee hint of what I was about to do in terms of replacing my RV city water intake. And today we're actually going to do that. So let's get to it. Well, hello tubers. Today we are going to replace my city water intake because this is what's happened to it. Over the years it has rusted away. Yeah, I knew this was coming and I don't really have a problem with rust with my RV, but the water intake, obviously because of the water, it has rusted out. I don't know why they even made those metal. You know, I'm replacing it with a plastic version which made in the USA. <laughs> How many things are made in the USA anymore? And this of course is plastic so it'll never rust and it'll never be replaced again. The only weird problem that I discovered was after I got this thing home I realized that that was a male connection. The original was female so I need to have an adapter. So I had to run back to the RV store and get an adapter. So this is a pretty simple straightforward R&R. Three screws up there. Disconnect your water line and you're going to need some Teflon tape for the threads just to ensure a leak free installation. Pretty straightforward. So let's get to it. Well, that sure looks a lot better than the old rusty one. The next thing I guess out here that I should replace eventually will be the outdoor shower taps because they have faded over time. I guess I could probably bleach them to bring back the uh, shining white, but this it actually is working fine, so I don't really need to replace this just yet. Maybe next season, who knows? But for now, it's fine. So let's go and test for any leaks. Let's add the water line. And just so you know, I always like to use a little bit of Teflon tape to prevent any dribbling from the city water connection. I'm gonna peel this one off and add some fresh Teflon tape and then screw it in. Okay, we got some fresh Teflon tape on here, so let's get her done and test it. Okay, it looks like it is mission accomplished. Almost, because there is no dribbling at all from the connection. But before you think you're finished, you're actually not. What you need to do is go inside to make sure that you don't have any leaks from your inside connection or from your adapter like I just used. So let's go inside to see if we have any leaks, just to make sure that we don't have to rip this apart again. And do you see why I tell you to go inside to check for a leak? We obviously have a leak off of the connector. 
So we need to tear it apart and maybe tighten it up a little bit more. Add some Teflon tape and check it again because we can't have that dripping now, can we? Okay, all it seemed to need was a little bit more Teflon tape. The uh, Teflon tape I had was extremely thin, a lot thinner than it normally is. And uh, so I got smart and decided to pre-test it. The water is now on, pressurized, and uh, it's not leaking. Don't, don't be fooled, it's actually raining outside, so um, the little bit of drops of water here are not leaks. So I got my finger underneath here, everything looks good. Time to just uh, reconnect it and test one more time. Okay, we got the water pressurized now and there are no leaks from the outside. Let's go back inside and do one final check, just to be safe. Okay, let's dry up the water that leaked from the last test. Let's see if we got any more leaks. I don't see any leaks. Do you see any leaks? I don't see any drips. I think we're good to go. But I would suggest you keep an eye on any new plumbing project that you've just done in case a leak erupts in the first few days or the first few weeks. Hey, better to be safe than sorry. Well, that's about it here from the RV. Hope you guys are doing a bunch of home improvement projects or working on your car because I've done a little bit of everything and i got a few more projects I still want to complete. While we're kind of in that slow mode getting back to normal here in North America. So in the meantime, folks, if you have any questions, put your comments down below or your questions. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. And in the meantime, folks, stay safe. Keep your wheels on the ground.